Vadim Pavlovich really wants to tell you a little about the kitchen testers. Currently, three superjets are participating in flight tests. What are the main points of the test program and what do you check on each aircraft? Well, in general, we must first of all demonstrate the safety of passenger aircraft. So we must check in all operating conditions and even in those conditions that allow us to fail aviation equipment. What are such situations like? Engine failure, especially during takeoff, is the most critical scenario. Refusal exit to large angles of attack. If the limiters fail, they can also refuse. As the practice of operation of all civil aircraft shows, being hit by large attacks is all events. There were likely disasters. We need to test the plane's behavior on these big attacks. Check the engines on. A strip covered with water, neither on takeoff nor on landing. When entering the conditions of a strip covered with water, it is necessary to show that the engine is running steadily. Very spectacular, beautiful. On the test side, there is a test to determine the minimum speeds. When the plane takes off, should be on. In a situation where it has a minimum thrust of one engine show that it bumps steady and gains altitude. At the same time, it is necessary to prove this situation. Perform this maneuver so that before takeoff, the plane touches five. The tail is specially pitched there and uh, they are often in this mode. Well, Let's talk about unforeseen situations uh, when you can even break a plane. Well, in particular, there is such a famous National Geographic film when they tested A380 and they damaged it there. Well, quite serious tests. Uh, in addition to the fact that there are high minimum speeds, there were attacks and plus a touch on the design of the aircraft. Take off and landing strip. What safety margin do you put in testing so that people who just fly an airplane and use it as a means of transportation don't worry that it's really safe? But let's say we are always testing a new aircraft design on a flat to achieve flutter conditions. Suppose we have a limit of 310 knots, then we accelerate to a speed of 380 knots. Well, this is a very large reserve. It is impossible to get there besides by plane. Meanwhile, protective measures are used to avoid getting there. All kinds of braking devices are produced in the form of speed brakes, which are here, but they... Here there is a handle for releasing the slip brakes in manual mode, but in cases of exceeding the speed limits, they are released automatically. And moreover, our aircraft additionally has such a function in the control system that when exceeding the speed, it translates. The control system converts the aircraft into a set and thereby additionally extinguishes the speed. We are also testing the aircraft. I said that on large logotaki, but we also have a system to prevent entering large ones. Angle several functions. One function prevents the control system from allowing the aircraft to further increase the angle of attack. The altitude rudder deflects to dive and another function maintains speed, automatically increasing thrust of the engines and protecting the aircraft. Begins to accelerate and also reduces the angle of attack. Well, let's say such a situation happens that these functions will fail. Our aircraft is designed in such a way from a dynamic point of view that it is very safe to stall. That is quite simple. Let go of the neutral position, just let go. As they say, make a release and the plane itself leaves from large angles of attack and then you can safely continue flying. But at the same time, I will repeat once again, we have it. Special functions on this aircraft which do not allow the pilot in the most emergency situations. Going to these angles of attack, the aircraft is thus protected. One of the mandatory stages of testing is turning off and on the engine in flight. How important is this during the flight? How hard is it for pilots? 
Civilian pilots are trained to start engines in the air on a simulator and in principle they must perform all these actions. When this happens once or in some special conditions, then of course there are certain ones. Let's talk about the difficulties in order to do everything correctly, clearly and under the right conditions. Well, for example, we definitely undergo tests and on this aircraft there will also be tests of turning off the engine at takeoff and performing a continued takeoff. Despite the fact that civilian pilots are also on the simulator, but this requires special training from the point of view. The accuracy of the mode is clear. In addition to the fact that such a special complex special situation is introduced, it is also necessary to withstand all the parameters in order to prove that the aircraft is safe and can be allowed to operate. And this is done as under normal conditions. Well, let's say this at sea level and in high mountains or in high temperatures. The thrust of the engines is significantly lower due to the fact that either the air is thin or the temperature is high and there it is necessary to show that at a certain mass which is uh, permissible for this uh, aerodrome 2 the plane must take off. As they say in natural conditions to show is not just by calculation but to prove to show this is again done with a margin. Well for a civilian pilot and we show the minimum possible conditions that can this plane provide? 